Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance, as well as the author of Migraines and Epilepsy, How to Find Relief, Live Well, and Protect Your Brain, which is why we're going to talk about essential oils and seizures, because they actually can play a role, both in a protective and a damaging part. There are some essential oils that can actually induce a seizure in people who aren't prone to seizures, so uh, we're going to cover those briefly the uh, a lot of this started from the old shoe smell uh, long ago it was believed that the old shoe smell could stop a seizure and turns out that that's not exactly correct but we do now know that essential oils both just from a um, at least from my viewpoint I either look at it as potentially providing different antioxidants, terpenes and, and monoterpenes. There's a lot of different compounds in essential oils that um, that can have beneficial effects on us. So that can be oral, it can be immuno, uh, aromatherapy just from inhaling them. It can be topical, even though usually topical is not as, as um, potent as taking them orally or inhaling them. Um, so again, from, an, from a, a standpoint, either they have potential antioxidant protecting the brain. I really strongly look at migraine or seizures as a mitochondrial deficit, as an oxidative stress. It's a lot of what I cover in my book about how to manage that. And some essential oils actually have some pretty strong antioxidant properties, but they can also affect GABA levels, uh, gamma immunobutyric acid, which is a calming neurotransmitter in the brain. Think about like L-pregnolone, a derivative of progesterone. Think about alcohol. Think about barbiturates. Uh, so like Ativan, um, muscle relaxers, they all affect that kind of pathway and they generally calm things down. So it would make sense that something like lavender could actually have a ben beneficial effect at calming people, calming anxiety, and potentially handling, uh, helping with seizures. So what I'm really going to cover on is um, some of the essential oils that we know in, in, in dosage plays a huge role. So obviously just a, a brief whiff is a lot different than embedding yourself or swallowing a lot of it. But top of the list are eucalyptus and camphor, which kind of sucks because I really like eucalyptus. And, uh, but those are two essential oils known that, known to actually cause, both from a case study and looking at animal studies, that they know that in high enough levels it can cause seizures. And in somebody who's more prone, it takes less to trigger those seizures. The list is longer on the essential oils that are protective. I already mentioned lavender, rosemary, sweet basil, the mints, so like spearmint, peppermint, um, can actually calm down the brain and uh, don't mistake essential oils I'm not going to get into the whole essential oils thing but don't mis mistake essential oils for the fake smells that we use in heck just about everything I know that in our office anytime we've wanted to use something we usually use a cold air diffuser so we can actually use the oil that diffuses that instead of like those wax melts and those are almost always chemically um, loaded because essential oils they're very volatile and they, they disperse very quickly the um, the cold air diffusers you have a tendency to work better but so we're not talking about the we're talking about the real stuff the essential oils and that is um, we're not just talking about the phthalates and all the artificial smells that we put in all of our personal care products and dryer sheets and and laundry soap and those we should stay away from anyway, but the real essential oils and um, how they can play a role. I'll put a short list, I've already mentioned them, but I'll put a short list in the description. Make sure you, um, and also I'll post a link to this particular study, it was the one looking at eucalyptus and camphor as having pro-convulsant uh, pro effects, and so if somebody is has new onset seizures, that this should be a question we should always ask is, had they been exposed to large amounts of essential oils recently, specifically eucalyptus and camphor. So I'll post that particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.